All right, what's up, y'all? It's Liquor Fan here. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we got some crazy comp on the 2v2 stage. Now, this lineup that we brought, it wasn't the most welcoming to the to the comp, if I might say so myself. So just keep that in mind as you're watching. My teammate is very new to the stage. I'll just say that. But anyway, we'll get right in the intros. You're gonna see the only bully on a shot creator. This is essentially the playmaking sharpshooter point guard combo. Elite one, 99 overall. And then snags. I don't know if it's a pure finisher or a finisher or defender. But anyway. Interior defender, interior finisher, 92 overall and SS3. Now you, you see Cooks on a two-way sharp, 92 overall. My man hasn't played a single <laughs> lick of stage or anything. His stage record—I don't mean to throw Cook under the bus—but his stage record is literally seven and twelve total <laughs> of like in all his time playing 2K20. So just keep that all in mind. We're playing some crazy comp and we're not at the best situation. And anyway, you see they get the really nice. Cook throws the really nice lob off of that. I go for it again. Dude plays back, so we just work the pick and roll. Get him stuck really nice. Unfortunately, Cook couldn't get the, the hezzy to go off. And then you see he's kind of lacking in the left corner. I get the tip pass. So fortunately, they don't get the, the free three-pointer off that. But what I want to detail with this lineup a little bit is just the two-way ability on the defense. And then, obviously, alley-oops, as you can see from the beginning, are going to be a pretty, pretty prominent thing with this lineup. But anyway, you're going to see they... Obviously, Bully is on a, a lacking defensive build, so missing shots like this are going to be pretty impactful, unless <laughs> I do some stupid stuff like this. Look, I'll put it like this. We we both, me and Cook, both had some tweak moments in this game, and they, on the other end, also did too. But you're going to see we can overcome that because of the defensive ability in our lineup. Now, like I said, he's a two-way He's a two-way sharpshooter. I'm basically a two-way slasher. So you're going to see we have to fully switch this. I I get about as good of defense as you can while chasing down the, the kind of off-dribble midi look that he would have got. And now, unfortunately, if I wouldn't have got the good like fight for the box or good positioning and he would have he just had me boxed, I actually would have got that board because it went long. But you're going to see... They last second throw a lob. I wasn't even expecting that either. So props to them. That was actually a really good play to run, or you know, not not as necessarily a play, but you know, just a good good execution at the end of the shot clock right there. Now they're back to the pick and roll combo right here. Obviously the behind the backs. They're just gonna be getting worked all game. You see he drives off this though with his big man camp and paint. So we get an easy like that was a pretty easy defense if you ask me. But now Cook's lacking on the stamp. My man's out here trying to get it back. Gets poked. It was a rough start to the game, I, and there's no doubt about it, but this is a great game. You see Snags pump fakes three times, goes up, and that's a good, that's great as well. I mean, that's honestly very smart. Now, one thing I kind of forget about sometimes too is that the pump fakes are a little bit faster than pogo stick jumps. I didn't have all vertical contests on those though, like I usually like to, so it was a little tougher to, to defend on that, but anyway, right here, you can see they're just... They're just spamming that X. <laughs> they're just all on this, like, all comp little sweaty do. But anyway, I was not throwing another bad pass. I was I was making for sure that we didn't turn that thing over. So a thing I like to do is the fake pass, as you can see right there, where they literally cannot steal the ball from you in those situations. Now, we're going to go with a little film breakdown mid-game. Um, so what you're seeing is that we run the pick and roll. We get the full switch commit right here. Now, generally, what we like to do, as you guys know, if they switch this fully and the guard is on the like in front of me and in my way to get to the hoop then we like to run it back and get the slip or get an open three off, off the top but you see I beat him I beat him on the cut necessarily and he just got too stuck on the screen to like even get past me so what that freed up was an easy lane to the hoop we get an easy lob cook with a great throw right there if there's one thing cook did amazing in this game it was throw lobs with great precision too like look at that and my man had no lob city passer or anything like that that might be one of the most overrated badges in the game because let me tell you i haven't i don't think i've ran with a single person who who uses lob city passer all year one more film breakdown as well mid game so what you're gonna see that they do is the big man gets stuck on cook off the inbound so i'm running to the hoop freeing myself up now they both drop and you see cooks wide open at this given moment you're gonna see this later in the game be a huge uh, like a huge factor a huge deal to the game but anyway you're gonna see look at me i got eight points on two and two rebounds on and our whole team has eight eight points as well so you're gonna see they're gonna make a whole lot of adjustments big man plays super far back on the screen right here and then obviously is trying to protect the paint a little bit more too but speed speed baby gets the box out and 
Also the vertical as well for the long rebound. Probably a bad pass right there as well as a bad pass right here. It's just, <laughs> and you see Cook just completely like jumping for joy over there. I don't know. It's, it was a good look. It just I wasn't at a good angle and I didn't think he was gonna trail off to the to the far corner like that. But you see Snag takes the takes it to the hoop off the fake pass. I get the nothing easy. If you see the takeover meter pop up, it actually did go up quite a bit. So I'm glad they actually pat they passed that because it was a, originally kind of a, a tough thing and you know it, it was there was no reward for it. <laughs> like a lot of the time, and I know a lot of you guys still see that as a horrible thing when you get the nothing easy to pop up, because it's like, yo, they just took up some bull and got bailed out with a foul. Now at least there is like some bonus to it where it gives you the takeover progress, which actually comes in very clutch in this game if you if you care to <laughs> to watch and see. But anyway, Cook's strapping up right now. A great defense on the screens, cutting off the way he wants to go. Obviously, I'm on the backside with his help. Now he stretches it out as far as possible. That was another great play. These dudes were like really about it. Like they really are skilled and good at the game. And Bully was out here. That was that was a great play. He stretched it out as far as he could go. Made Cook chase him all the way. You see Cook again with the great defense. He gets the the unlucky region right there as well. I don't know. In my opinion, if we can get off track on the commentary a little bit. I think bump steals need to be a much bigger thing in this game. Like, bro, people just be behind the back and straight into somebody when they <laughs> like you'll you'll play one side of the screen. He behind the backs straight into you, and then you still like get bump, and he still doesn't lose the ball off the bump. Now again, they both play low. Unfortunately, he was just too he was too deep for that. And now I get my takeover to pop up right here. They're both spamming the lanes, and now they see this thing pop up. They're like, oh no. <laughs> so unfortunately, though. I don't see the shot clock until literally right this moment. So I go up with some BS, but honestly, it was actually a good shot if you think about it because, again, the shot clock was running mad low. I get the self rebound, and honestly, that's a that's a pretty like common thing in this game. I would have to say, you see, they're they're guarding that alley oop so hard, but fortunately, that also frees me up for the easy like you know inbound pass. I get the contact dunk now. If we're talking adjustments, and this is one thing, slashers, if you're listening and watching, you got to make this adjustment right here. So you're going to see he didn't necessarily jump on the on the contact dunk. And you see crazy little just corkscrew like <laughs> uh, alley-oop dunk right there. But you're going to see he didn't necessarily jump on the contact dunk that I got. So right here, he does jump. I honestly, that's some pretty bad stuff. I basically sold right there. And you're going to see now it's 16 to 14. I was thinking that was it. I was thinking we just completely lost the game, especially when this takeover popped up. I was thinking I just lost us the game, not looking too hot. They get the alley-oop to still connect, but fortunately I get the the below the hip block. Now I'm just like, all right, bro, it's time to get my bag. It's time to it's time to lead us to victory. So you can see I get the hop because I know he's going for the jump. Now that's another big thing. Like I just said, you gotta make the adjustments. If they're jumping at your contact dunk attempt, and you have the opportunity to get the ball back because of all that. Now, boom, they both play low. Cook with the biggest play of the game. He just, they both play low, take my lob away completely, leave him wide open, and he knocks it down. That was that was a huge shot. Now, right here, he could have done the same thing. He could have done the same thing. But fortunately, Slasher Takeover probably bails me out in that situation. Uh, quick little pause on the screenshot. So, 16 and 6 with two blocks, 8 for 10 shooting. One was the last second shot clock bailout that I had to put up just to kind of get out of, you know, try to refresh the shot clock. Snag goes eight points, three boards, two assists. Good game, honestly. That was a great competitive game. Cook with some great passing, and he knocked down the one shot that he needed to, <laughs> that he really needed to hit. Simple as that. If they would have got the ball back in that situation, they, we probably lose. It's simple as that. But anyway, 99.9 .9 performance. If you want to check out the build, bro. If you're new to the channel and you want to check out this build, I love it, bro. It's like a hybrid between playing good big man and honestly, a lot of people be talking about. Also, wait, hold on. Before I get to that point, I want to talk about the locker code thing. And I saw a lot of people talking about, you know, in the comments of my video yesterday, making mention of this. I want to, I want to completely convey that even though it says I just got 3,600 VC for this game, they did not give it to me. All right, I don't want to bash 2K too much for that. Honestly, at the end of the day, you shouldn't be getting 4,000 VC from a stage. A stage win because that's just exploiting the the double VC anyway but again like I said you don't get the double VC and the locker code I don't know what's up with the locker code I got this from the wheel spin and it just didn't work but anyway uh, I forget oh yeah, yeah yeah I was speaking on my build so 
The fact that I made my build six foot nine, a lot of people say it's just too small to like handle the people in the paint. I'll just scroll through some clips as we're as we're talking, but um, a lot of people say it's too small to handle people in the paint. I say there's a lot of people who make their build and can't handle my build in the pick and roll action. So I don't know. I mean, that's about all I have to say about that. You know. People make these 7-3 bigs, they sit on the backside, they can't keep up with the screens. If I'm playing with a good guard who can hit their shots, then it's game. It's simple as that. But anyway, you see, just a nice little concept going. Anyway, I don't want to stretch this video out too far. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, all that good stuff. Turn on them noties too. Feel free to go watch some other content as well. I think you'll really enjoy, and if you want to check out how I made, how I made this build, if you're new to the channel, feel free to do so. I think this should be a banger video too. I think this is going to do real well, but anyway, like I said, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, all that good stuff, turn on them noties. If you made it to the end of the video, put, put Cook in the comments. Let's show my man some love, but anyway, put Cook in the comments if you made it to the end of the vid. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed. Take it easy, man. Peace.